Okay. Uh, I was trying to use Team Viewer this week and I couldn't. All my systems that I had access to previously, personal use only, were marked as migration required, meaning they want me to pay up an enterprise level fee, which is extremely expensive, in order to use them. Um, so I sought for and found a semi uh, viable alternative in Google Remote Desktop. So let me just jump right into that and show you how that works, okay? I did look into an alternative to Team Viewer, and so I'm going to close out Team Viewer and let's go with that alternative. And it does require the Chrome browser, which I do have installed already. Easy enough to install if you need to. And uh, let me go to uh, extensions and visit the Chrome Web Store. And in the Chrome Web Store, remote Chrome Remote Desktop is an extension. I'm going to add that to Chrome. I'll add the extension. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn on Sync. Login. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and make sure I have the uh, uh, I've completed the uh, installation of the remote desktop. I mean, I installed the extension in my browser, um, but let me, and I think I have the detail where, yes, it's pinned to the toolbar, and I believe it's this icon right there. Yeah, Chrome Remote Desktop. Let me click on that. I click access my computer. And uh, it does show me online. Let me go ahead and set up remote access. That is it. Yeah, it's not just an extension, but you do need a piece of software to install as well on the Mac side. Accept and install. There you see it, the Chrome Remote Desktop. I continue. Install. Put in my password. permission there. I'm going to uh, have the name there of my system. Put in the password. Uncheck that. And click on start. Um, put in my password. Hopefully I type that in right. Okay, open accessibility and privileges. Make sure that uh, Chrome is checked. Uh, open up this one. Make sure that Chrome screen recording is also set. Go back in there so you can see it. I think I moved a little bit too quick on that one. And then go to next and I'm all set. Okay. So now, um, no, okay, there we see we are online. Okay, so now if I want to remote access uh, my Mac, my MacBook Pro, I would simply click on it. It will attempt to connect. I type my pin in. I will allow the use of the uh, of the uh, clipboard and there we have it there we have it here okay here you see on the left the monitor uh, connected to my uh, Mac mini M1 and on the right you see my MacBook Pro and I'm going to demonstrate uh, doing remote access using Chrome remote desktop now to go ahead and access 
this one is as easy as connecting to it. Uh, I do have to type in the password. So let me go ahead and do that. And you can see here, let me make that full screen. I do have I do have remote access. Well, uh, I can approve this product and I am using it myself personally, but only in a very limited personal basis. You can't share your pin with anybody because you grant them full access to your system 24 seven as long as your system's online. Or they could log in to your system with your Gmail account and that ought to make you shiver with fear. Uh, I don't want anybody's stuff like that on my computer. Um, they'd have their own pin, which is true. It'd be different from yours, but they'd still have 24 seven access to your system as long as it's online. So only within the context of very limited personal use do I recommend this. Please give me a like and subscribe. And um, until next time, bye-bye.